Uh, 6.5, number 59, uh, instructions are to find the exact value of the given expression. All right, so we have the sine of inverse sine of two-thirds plus inverse cosine of one-half. So we need to recognize that this is the sine of u plus v. So this is your u, uh, and this is your v. So the sine of u plus v um, is the sine of u. So sine of u is the sine of the inverse sine of two thirds. Cosine of v. So cosine of the inverse cosine of one half plus cosine of u. Cosine of the inverse sine of two thirds and times the sine of v which is the sine of the inverse cosine of one half all right so whatever that equals that's our answer so we've got four little sub problems here we have to find the sine of the inverse sine of two-thirds so it's going to require two different triangles we've got u what angle has a sine of two-thirds what angle has a sine of two-thirds? This angle right there has a sine of two-thirds. So we can call that u, I guess. Um, so now, I'll just call it theta. So we're going to have to find, um, well, I guess u would be better. So if that's u, so now we have to find the sine of u, which is two-thirds. So sine of the inverse sine of two-thirds is two-thirds times the cosine of the inverse cosine of one-half. So inverse cosine of one-half. So what angle has a cosine of one-half? That angle has a cosine of one-half. So this is actually a special right triangle. Um, so what is the cosine of that? Well the angle of V is just a 60 degree or pi over 3. So what is the cosine of that angle? So this we use it to draw the triangle. Now we have to find the cosine of it and it is one half. So two thirds times one half so far. Plus uh, the cosine of the, okay, so inverse sine of two thirds. What angle has a sine of two thirds? This angle has a sine of two thirds. What's the cosine of that angle? Well, nine minus four, that's the square root of five. So what is the cosine of that angle? It is square root of five over three. And now, uh, the inverse cosine of one half, what angle has a cosine of one half? That one does. What's the sine of it? It is square root of three over two opposite over hypotenuse. All right, so we're getting close. So two thirds times uh, one half is just these two cross off. So we get one third plus the square root of 15 over six. So we could do 2 over 2. Um, so now I have 2 over 6 plus the square root of 15 over 6. So 2 plus the square root of 15 over 6 is probably the, the best answer.